Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with even more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today is all about a brand new armor set that we're going to get. It's the charge set, and I'm hoping we can get the Yiga set too, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, here I am right over here in Kakariko Village. If you can see, this is going to be the lookout landing. If you head all the way over here in this general direction, there is a shrine nearby for the Kakariko Village. Uh, but of course, we're going to be heading right over here to the Ring Ruins, as you can see there. So let's go see what's happening in the Ring Ruins and do the quest so that we can get some new gear. Yeah. It's Taro. The Ring Ruins are the most intriguing ruins I've researched, especially this one, the way part of it floats up there. You have the foresight to focus on all these special ruins and invite the survey team to take a look right away. Yeah. I'm impressed, Chef Paya. You remember Paya? <sighs> Chief? I called her Chef. <laughs> Am I hungry? She's a chief. Uh, oh no, I'm no chief. Well, she's also not a chef either. Uh, I couldn't refuse my predecessor when she decided to pass the title to me rather suddenly. I'm really a chief in name only, since I still have a great deal to... Huh? Oh, it's you, Master Link? Yeah, it's me. Hey, what's up? I'm so happy I get to see you again. It's Paya. Uh, she did something in Kakariko Village before. There was like an orb and like her grandma was something over there. I don't remember. I'm overjoyed that both you and Princess Zelda are safe, Master Link. Uh, yeah, see, that's not necessarily the case. Uh, the Zelda who appeared after the upheaval, upheaval is an imposter born of the Demon King? And the real Princess Zelda is still missing? Are you serious, Master Link? It's certainly hard to believe. And uh, yet, I find it impossible that you would make up such a thing. Hmm. Come to think of it, the Princess Zelda who came to Kakariko Village is she ordered us not to let anyone go near that floating ring ruin no matter what she left as soon as she arrived i wasn't about to ask her anything more about those unusual instructions we thought it was to protect the villagers from harm this ruin does look like it could crash down any moment that's what pie and i suspect at least oh my apologies master link i was so pleased to see you i completely forgot common courtesy Please allow me to introduce Mr. Taro, an esteemed member of the Zonai survey team. I invited him here to investigate the ring ruins that fell on our village. Uh, he has incredibly deep knowledge of the Zonai civilization. He's even familiar with Zonai script. He's truly an incredibly talented individual. Well, hello there, Taro. That's what I'm going to grow my hair out. My hair is going to go that down, like, to my, to my chin. <laughs> it's clear that the floating ring ruin that we were forbidden to explore is a unique and incredibly valuable find. Several more ring ruins with such shape have fallen down around the village. Uh, most have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is that a stone slab with writing was found at each site. Deciphering the text uh, showed that each slab contains rather interesting content, including the mention of sages. There's still so much we don't understand. I think that perhaps the ruin floating in the air also has a slab that makes mention of the sages. Until now, I'd given up on investigating the ruin, believing Princess Zelda's orders were for the best. But if that princess was an imposter, that changes everything. Ooh. Princess Zelda's imposter, the Demon King Underling, forbade anyone from investigating that floating ruin. That must mean that doing so would pose a threat to the Ge Demon Aww. King. If that's the case, then we must survey that ring as soon as possible. Right you are, Mr. Taro. There's no longer any reason to prohibit your research. Let's open up the floating ring ruin at once. Mm. Knowledge is tugging on the line. Time to reel in some results. <laughs> uh, your Lurlin phrasing is coming through, Mr. Toro. You must really be pleased. Mm. It's just, uh, there's one problem. We still need to determine how to conduct the survey. Ooh. Yeah, that's really high up there. It's clear that the interior of this ring ruin is hollow. Sadly, there doesn't seem to be an entrance. If the contents of the other ring ruins are any indication, there should be a stone slab inside engraved with Zonai script. First, we should look for a way to confirm that there's a stone slab inside. However, we don't want to damage these precious ruins. Oh, pardon me, I was lost in thought. I better hurry and let everyone know about this so that we can open it up. I don't know what we're doing here. Are, am I going to, like, ultra hand that thing down? What's the deal? Secret of the ring ruins. All right. Okay, hello, Paya. Welcome. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So from what it looks like, that that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Alright, so if we don't have access to Ascend... I, I think at this point in the game you do, right? There we go. We're going to send our way up there. 
Okay, great. Let's do this. Uh-huh. Wow, yeah, man, just flying up into the air. We're gonna have to take a look and see what this is all about. Okay, so I'm almost up there. So no one's been able to go into these ruins. Oh, what in the... Wow, okay. Do I just have to take a picture of it? Ring ruin stone slab. Cool, man. I'm actually playing Zelda this time around. Right, how do I get out of here? Oh, probably a send up and then out. Oh, so fascinating. Hey, Opaya, I got something. I got something. I'm all the way up here. Yahoo! Boing. All right, great. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> Master Link, did I see you go inside the floating ring ruin? I just... N never mind. It's nothing. My eyes are clearly playing tricks on me. Yo, I got a picture. Toro. Huh, it looked like you disappeared into the ring. But that can't be. Ah, oh, I forget I said anything. Yeah, what about this picture? There you go. I took a picture of it. He's like, what are you talking about? This is, what's this you got? Huh? Could it, could it really be? Paya. Callip. Look at this. Callip, man. Oh, that's my picture I took. Could this be the interior of the floating ring ruin? Wow, the stone slab is so clearly visible. There appear to be Zonai inscriptions on this one as well, just like in the other ring ruins. Toro, if you would. Right, let me see what I can decipher. Huh. Promise Zelda, solemnly sign, Minoru, Sage of, hide the key, southeast, and trust future, wish, defeat Demon King. That's all I can make out. There's some lettering I can't figure out, but uh, before southeast, but Minoru seems to be someone's name. We know Minoru. Uh, look at the context of Minoru. I do believe uh, this is one of the first times... Um, these slabs to put a name onto a sage. It also has mentions of Zelda and Demon King. How fascinating. Aha, the inscriptions are telling us all the sorts of in essential information. Well, what's the matter? Oh, nothing. It's just that part uh, before the southeast section. I think it says Dragonland. Huh. Oh, you're right. Paya knows her stuff. This should read Dragonland Southeast. Fantastic work, Paya. Oh, thank goodness. I've proven useful. It seems my continued Zonai language studies have paid off. No, no, I'm being upstaged. Um, uh, where were we? Something about a dragon land to the southeast? Hmm, how familiar are you with the southeast Hyrule? There is a site in Farin that has been long known as the Zonai Ruins. It predates the ruin falling from the sky and is home to many ancient relics. If memory serves, there were dragon designs on those ruins that I haven't seen anywhere else. Okay. Oh, Callop, great catch. The Zonai Ruins in Farin. There's a good chance that that's exactly where this is pointing us at. That's our Callop. Fantastic work. I, I, what did you just say? That inscription is pointing us towards Farin's Zonai Ruins? No, not that. The next bit. A certain adjective was used. I believe it started with fan, ended with tastic. What was it again? Ah, fantastic work, you mean? Ha, ah, yes, fantastic work. Hmm, yes. Callop, what fantastic work he said. Fantastic me! Okay. Link, when we put together the script on this stone slab and translate it, we definitely, uh, <laughs> we get definite mentions of the sage Minoru, the Demon King, and someone in the same name as Princess Zelda. Something related to all three of these uh, uh, must be waiting in the Zonai Ruins to the southeast of Hyrule. We landed a real catch here. Thank you for your help, truly. We've no time to dawdle. There's research to be done. Man, Callop, will you join me? Oh, of course. I would be a, a fantastic addition to the team. Oh, very good. Well, that's settled. Let's be out to Zonai Ruins and Farron. First, we head southwest. We'll establish a base in the Poplar Foothills at the Skyview Tower by the ruins. Oh, okay. Easy. I can go there right now. In search of new discoveries, we make for Farron. That's like a 10 minute cutscene, man. Like, we gotta go. I don't think I'm gonna get another gear this episode. <laughs> Dude, he talks too much. Eh, they, le they left just like that. Well, I'm sure those two will be fine. I must study more about the Zonai civilization so I don't fall behind Taro and Callop. I'll also continue pursuing our research of the Ring Ruins. As the village chief, making this uh, an exciting place, of course. 
But we have to thank you for all that we accomplished here, Master Ling. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. All right, cool. Let's go. <clears throat> we got work to do. Let's go over there. Yeah, I got the foot, the Poplar Foothills, uh, Skyview Tower. I got it. I'm already there, man. Getting the towers unlocked was number one priority. So good. Wow. That was fun, man. All right, let's see. So there's a floating ring. We're going to come over here to the Farron. Something about a dragon. Something about Zelda, Demon King. We should look, we should look around. See what's up. Okay, here we go. Hello, friends. It's me. Uh, is that you? Uh, where's Toro, dude? Yeah. Uh, okay, you come to learn about the Zonai from an expert, right? I should welcome you to our humble base of operations. Behold, this is where the real investigation starts. It might not seem like it, but... Um, yeah, it might not seem like much next to that Skyview Tower, I'll concede. Ooh. Going forward, our research will proceed from here. Toros are already gone off to the ruins. If memory serves, he's already in the Jerkozu Lake, southeast... You should find the Zonai ruins he volunteered to inspect. If I'm curious, the Dragonland written in the Ring Ruin will have uh, an, uh, any more leads on the Demon King. Ordinarily, uh, I'd be right here at his side, of course, but I'm worn out from setting up the base, and I need some time to recuperate before I break, begin my own survey. Goodness me, is there anything that slows down Toro? All right, so he's updated. Uh, he's going to go southeast. So I'm looking over here to the uh, oh Dracozu Lake. Okay, so he should be somewhere over here. I'm going to pin this. And we're going to head over towards pink right over this way. So we should be fun. I love it. It's it's daytime when we're recording the episode. That's great. <laughs> Usually it's just nighttime. It's 9.30 in the morning here. Okay, that's not Dracozu Lake. Maybe if we actually launched ourselves up, that would be a little bit better. Yeah, if we launch ourselves from the tower, that would be so much more uh, big-brained than just messing around over here. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. We're going to go on top of this, and then we're going to launch ourselves downwards. There we go. That has to be it with the smoking campfire. I'm excited to see where this goes. It's like a little side adventure here. A little main quest. We haven't done main quests in a while. Usually it's go to A, open up chest, go to B, open up chest, go to C, open up chest. But this is like, this is actually playing, playing Zelda here. Hello? What do you got over here? Dear Callop, uh, the influence of the upheaval has spread to the Zonai ruins. Do you see the pillar-shaped ruin in front of this tent? There shouldn't be any artifacts uh, like that around here. There's more rubble at the base of the pillar opened, revealing a way inside. All right, so he's going in. So he went in. Rubble at the base of the pillar opened? What are you talking about? Hello? Oh, gosh. I'm not into that. Rubble at the base. Oh, is that? That's it. That's where I got to go. Okay, here we go. Right? Hello? Oh, there you are. Hey, what's up, dude? Look at this. Hmm, interesting. Oh, you came after all. I figured you would uh, You would after you made that breakthrough at the Ring Ruins. But listen to this. I've already got a whopper of a discovery on my hook here. Look at that. Look at this. It's a Zonai mural complete with intact text. The style is unmistakable. Uh, it's nothing short of miraculous that it's still here and basically intact. Which, come to think of it, might be ascribable to the Zonai's advanced technology. I've got a bit fair of uh, a fair bit of knowledge of the script, so I just had to try deciphering it. But some of it still eludes me. Maybe it's a poem or some kind of code, perhaps. Oh gosh! Here, I'll read it out loud so we can both get on the same page. First part says, "Where the electric garb hidden at the long neck dragon dragons along the wide mouth forest serpent." What? What do you make a forest serpent and dragons here? Uh, to me, it calls to mind the tall pillars found around these ruins, designed to look like a dragon. Forest serpent, though? I haven't seen any designs like that. What am I missing? What other wide mouth uh, forest serpent is here? Mm, maybe the forest serpent bit does remind me of a song that compared the Dracozu River to a forest dragon. But anyway, there's more to this code. I'll keep reading. Aww. Next says, offer a Zonai charge the altar at the tail. I'm pretty sure I got that right. I have no idea what it means. 
Uh, what in the world is a Zonai charge? And where's uh, where's his tail with an altar? If we can crack the riddles in this code, I'm sure a greater discovery is await us. There's one more thing I'm curious about. Ooh. Should have mentioned, but I found more Zonai relic at the back of these ruins. Uh, judging from the shape, I think there's something inside, but I can't get it to open. Mm. Can't crack the code. Just get the can't get the box open. This just isn't my day. All right, so I have no idea where he's trying to tell us to go, but I'm gonna take this right now. Charged shirt. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's the charged shirt. So that's exactly what we had to do in order to uh, get that going. Look at that gear. Okay, okay. Looking fabulous with the frills. All right, so something about what? Something about offering a Zonai charge at a tail? What in the world? Where are we? Okay, so let me take a look at the adventure log. Uh, where are the electric garb hidden at the long neck dragons? Along the wide mouth for a serpent. Offer a Zonai charge to the altar at the tail. What? I don't like cloudy weather either, man. Let's let's take a look around over here. So the serpent's tail? Is is this the serpent's tail? It looks like a tail. It's gonna be an adventure. I'm going into this blind over here. No idea. Well, let's look around. I'm going to do, like, another quick, like, lap around this area, see if anything else opened up. And then we'll go from there. But it's pretty... It's pretty bright. Not interested, dude. Don't shoot him yet. Okay, okay, now go ahead. Yeah, there's a big explosion afterwards. <laughs> I remember, uh, what's-his-name did that to me. Oh, in the world. What's-his-name did that to me. Um... I forget his name. <laughs> the Zora. Sidon. Yeah, Sidon did that to me. Okay, so there, there's a couple things over here, right? <clears throat> I don't really know what the tail is. I don't know what dragons are. Something about the pillars. Well, let's look around. Let me climb this for a second here. Get a better view, right? So we went inside there. We got our charged shirt, which is fair. Uh, there's nothing really else. Look at these drag- is that a dragon? Those are many dragons up there. We could probably go up there. What's the tail though? Because I think that we got to go over through this river and then maybe there's something at the end? Yeah, I don't know. It is- it is very foggy and I'm not liking that. So, alright, well. If you guys at home have any ideas, please let me know. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to follow this water all the way down and see where it takes us. Uh, reminding me, I am trying to go over to where the electric garb hidden at long-necked dragons along the wide mouth forest serpent. Oh, 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 I see something. I see some light over there. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly swim across. Don't mind me. So maybe these ruins are opened now? Oh, cool! Yonobo! Hey, Yonobo, come on, man. Where are you? Oh, gosh, help. You're lucky, Yonobo. He has one job. Oh, sweet! Yahoo! Give me that! Right now, what is it? Another, like, charge set? Charge trousers, stormy weather attack up. Great, give me those pants. Yeah, okay, looking good, pants. All right, let's get a better weapon out. All right, so Tulin's probably doing the work. All right, I'm gonna keep on flowing down here because I presume that the last piece is just gonna be along this river. And that's where, like, we're going to see some dragon heads, and maybe we're going to see uh, a the end of the tail. Oh, gosh. Oh, sweet! Yes! Oh, great! Please be good enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sticky lizard. You think I need sticky lizards? Guess what? I got a whole pocket full of them. Give me that charge set. 
Oh, he hit, he stubbed his toe on that thing. Charged head dress, dude. We got the whole set right here, man. We just abandoned the quest. Yeah, look at that. Okay, hold on. Let me put the uh, sword away. Let's do a little 360 over here. Look at that horn. Okay. Look at this. All right. All right. Little barefoot outfit. Cool. Earrings and everything. Love it. It looks so good. All right. So something about where the charge set at the very end. Uh, something about dragons. Let me go do a little bit of swimming and we should be all set with that. So let's go do that. Let's just finish the quest, right? We're playing Zelda. We'd easily go get another three sets, but uh, I'm interested in seeing where this goes. Look at me playing side quests over here. Uh, maybe... I, I don't know. I, I don't know. It says... Where the electric orb hidden at long-necked dragons along the wide... Yes, offer a Zonai charge to the altar at the tail. Oh, maybe the altar is this. Like, this. is this an altar? I don't know. We, we kind of, like, found all those things along the way. I don't know. I guess I'm going to go all the way. I'm going to go to the end of this little river over here. And then I'm going to see what's up. Because it did look like a tail where we first started our quest. But then at the same time, it might be something different. I don't know why I'm manually swimming, dude. I could just, like, fly or something. And I'm almost out of stamina over here, so we better hurry up. Oh, there's a big fish in there. It's a long river. Dude, I don't have time for this. Dude, get me out. Get me out. Get me out. I'm just gonna look around. I got the... Oh my gosh, is this is this wet? Is it rainy? It is rainy, but luckily, guys, luckily, I've got the froggy suit. Yeah, it came in handy. Look at that slip resistance over here. Ugh, ugh, ugh. It's so slow, though. Okay, alright, alright. We're gonna do a little bit of looking around. OMG right now is... Did we just find something? Another room? What? Okay, this is cool. Is this the altar we are looking for? for a zona charge at the altar oh. <laughs> oh my gosh this is like an actual discovery right here like this is not i did not even expect this oh i gotta wear the thing where is it where is it cool oh my that's so fun because this is a surprise to me. I only had, like, a note that says, okay, start the quest in Kakariko Village, and that's it. So it's all new. That's a, that's a dragon. What did we just witness? That was really fun. Hello? Cal, did you see that? Lightning struck that dragon pillar too. Huh? Is someone in those ruins? It's me wearing the charged gear. Oh, it's you again. Uh, we think a terrible lightning strike hit here, but I'm glad to see you weren't hurt. Oh. I've never seen a lightning strike like that, and even stranger, the dragon statue's eyes seem to glow just before it. Link, if you know anything about this, fill us in on what happened. Unbelievable. A mechanism in the ancient ruins got rid of the thunderclouds and revealed some new sky islands? Great catch, another amazing discovery on the books. In fact, I'd say it's the Hall of the Century. It's a significant discovery, to be sure. I'd like to go investigate further, but we have no way of getting up there. Huh, you're right. It doesn't 
make it less exciting, though. We need to report this to Pura right away. Calif, I'm going back to Kakariko Village. I want to write out the recent events around Floating Ring Ruin in a report for Pura. Uh, you should stick around here to conduct a thorough investigation. Find out if there are any more discoveries to be made. Well, I remain here? You, you mean alone? Uh... Yeah. Even if we can't get up to the sky, there's so much to discover on land. Uh, it's our duty to unravel all of it. You can do this, Callop. Uh... He wants me to investigate alone? Fieldwork isn't my strongest suit. But this may be my chance to make a historic discovery. Hey. Right. Leave this to me, Toro. I'll begin uh, preparing at once. I'll need to head back to our base of operations for a bit first. So, by doing this quest, did we clear out the thunder cloud in, like, Dragon Something Island? Remember? Like, we went all the way up in the sky? Are you telling me? No. The Thunderhead Isles are now clear and we can walk in there. Instead, during our episode, we brute forced our way through. <laughs> That's so fun. Wow. So, now, anywhere... Uh, we could just warp over here uh, and then make our way up to the Thunderhead Isles, which would be the time where you would activate the Fifth Sage quest. <sighs> Crazy cool. Okay, well, that was kind of fun. Uh, let's go pay a trip to our favorite fairy, Kotera, and see what she has to say about this brand new gear, right? We gotta show it off. We gotta show it off. Yeah, that's so fun. Uh, I really like that. I really like that. You know what? Even if you don't go through steps A, B, C, D, and E in order to get to Z, right? Like, you can just go, you know, if you want to go to L or M and then just go straight to Z, right? That's kind of what we did. We skipped, like, three or four steps. And then we got the sage. Uh, so that was actually really fun. I did not know that that was how to get rid of the thunder. That thunderstorm directly above us. And that's really cool. Just learn something new. Go, go, go. Do it. All right, let's see this charge set. Kotera, it's me. Always love seeing what she's got over here for upgrades. Welcome back. It's me. Here we go. Ooh, shock fruit. Yeah, okay. It's just three shock fruit. Man, I got 30. All right, let's upgrade. Let's upgrade all these. Let's see. With whatever we have, we'll do it. Stormy weather attack up is the uh, is the set or is is the bonus it gives, which is like very I don't know. It's very oddly specific. Like am I going to be in a thunderstorm? Maybe 5% of the game. Uh, yeah, okay, so when I'm in a thunderstorm, odds are the weapons that I carry are going to be metal anyway. So, I don't know. I don't know. Please, someone at home, tell me why this gear is any good, outside of how cool it looks. So, electric Lizalfos horns, yeah, we'll need some of those, and thundering butterflies, we'll absolutely pick those up too and, and upgrade this bad boy. So, yeah, that's going to be it. So, uh, say goodbye to Great Fairy Kotera. We are done with that. Uh, on our next episode, what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll navigate the Yiga. The Yiga clan and see if we can uh, get our entire Yiga set. That would be amazing. Anyway, that's going to be it for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This fun episode for the charged set. Love it. Looks really fun. And uh, the horn looks really cool too. Alright, well, stay tuned for the next one. It'll be great. Thanks for watching. Take care.